welcome this is a groundbreaking uh, video partly because it really introduces the power of ai in your impact management and sustainability work regardless of what you do this is something that's going to change how you really interact and start really do things uh, in a very innovative way instead of spending months and years worth of work you are now doing going to be doing things in uh, in the minute and minutes all together obviously uh, this is primarily designed to brainstorm and design the right set of strategy uh, and can save huge amount of time but also you do need a, a tools like supex suite and uh, supex sense to manage the data part of it so to the way i would look at it is not as a singular piece of work that you do it but it it is done better when you work with sopex survey and sopex sense because they are quite integrated in the way it can allow you to do the um uh, benefit so before you start please like and subscribe this video because without that we cannot grow this uh, video and you're going to see a lot of innovative videos now you'll see this what you see here on the screen is sopex copilot for impact uh, and sustainability it's a it's a, a custom design um, gpt uh, based on uh, obviously uh, open ai gpt but fundamentally it can be used in any gpt platform essentially but i'm going to walk you through at the moment it is released to uh, all sopac users and at some point we will make general availability a lot of the concept can be very valuable and can be very some sense so come and talk to us if you want to really use this thing and start working with topact on that but let's look at the power of it it's a really going to shift your thinking process so first is uh, the you can see four different functions one is strategy data and survey analysis reporting and storytelling and each of them has a series of uh, menu uh, that you can it allows you to save massive amount of time and let's start with the strategy and we'll probably talk about strategy and data and survey in this video because it will become bigger and I, I want to limit the video size so we'll have a separate video for each of them quite frankly but let's look at things in a holistic way what it what it can do for you so it can design logic model not only you can design logic model but one of the thing is that everything starts with a storytelling so we start with the storytelling as a primary goal for any organizations whether you are working on social enterprise initiatives or upskilling programs um um where you are working working on mentoring and creating uh, coaching to uh, black entrepreneurs uh, or people with marginalized community regardless of initiatives you can start just look at the websites and we can start building logic model on theory change not only you building logic model theory change you're building very powerful uh, problem statement or impact statement which can be extremely valuable in your storytelling and next you design theory change make it even visual uh, copy for the your websites and the uh, the visual elements that you can use it and improve your websites on the day one and then you can start thinking about different type of metrics now the metrics is a pretty uh, uh personal topic and i've created many videos on that topic uh, so feel free to uh, look at that but metrics is very important because it is a foundation right metrics is a foundation to storytell so how to choose the right metrics for storytelling is something we are guiding that process as well there are many different ways to define and collect the data from transcript um from google sheets and audio uh, video so we can help you with that strategy on top of that you can also look at things like data and um, um survey and for that let's go back to second menu which is data and strategy a survey where you will be able to uh look at Uh, very powerful things to collect the data one is that you can start with the any standards that there are many standards out there you don't need to worry about any of them you just pick one of them and it will spit out the actual sopex survey code and that, that within a one prompt let's say i want to create a agriculture training program and i want to create with the pre and post just say so and you will have a survey created uh, for that or i want to create a skill soft skill program for the uh, child 
children uh, in my education house care school program i can do the use the outcome stars to design that and create a SOPEC survey for that so or you can create custom create survey which is very powerful we have a beautiful formulas on how to design super effective uh, metrics and super effective data collection practices so rather than spending months on consulting uh, dollars essentially you are going to be able to do things on your own not only that you'll be creating those things custom service or but we can also create a checklist we have a very powerful checklist to design the evidence based approach and you can see what elements should you be having in collecting data and you can do that and we can walk you through your you can even look at your survey and you can very quickly uh, look at the checkpoints and say this is included maybe you should improve this particular questions altogether and that's the power of it altogether and then you, at any point in time you can create SOPEC survey you don't have to type six here you can just just type a prompt and you will do that this is, number seven is very innovative so once you design the survey we are a big believer that before even you deploy any survey you should really collect the data and the way you do that is you create a very uh, similar the data uh, create a synthetic data and test it out in SOPEC sense and look at the quality analysis logical analysis and see what story is getting tell. And you know, we, we make sure when we design this data, there's a, no random pattern. There's a, there's a pat pattern that you can use so that you can see what kind of analysis you're likely to achieve. And you can tune and improve your questions based on that before even you deploy. Because once you deploy it, it's, it's too late, essentially. So very important that you do that. And then the la number, na number nine, eight is very extensive step-by-step -step process. But beautiful in a way, we start with the how you define the right outcome and uh, the outcome that matters most for your stakeholders or funders. And ultimately, we design the questions, data collection, as well as the, um, the, the logic model automatically from that. So there are many different ways of doing these things. Um, I cannot really, I'm very excited, but essentially I can't pack everything in this video. Uh, so look out, but like and subscribe this video. Uh, and I'm going to uh, probably leave analysis and reporting and storytelling for other videos all together as well. So I hope this really gets you excited about it. Uh, if you like it, uh, please uh, make sure to subscribe. Look at some of the video playlist into the video and uh, start playing. Uh, start going through it. There's so many wealth of uh, videos out there and I highly recommend that you have uh, videos from AI co-pilot, strategy, storytelling, analytics, all those things all together. And again, I can't emphasize enough, please like and subscribe. Without that, we cannot grow. And if you have any questions about SOPEC Suite and Sense, come and talk to us. Thank you.